Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. We're ripping out this concrete walkway and putting a paver walkway back in its place. What do you think, Ben? We're gonna start breaking up concrete. Let's break up some concrete, right? Mm -hmm. What do we got? We got a bar, a sledge, and our 10 digits that God gave us. That's it. That's all we need. Coming out. We will go into more detail tomorrow about this project, but today we're just ripping out the concrete. It's uh, late in the day, it's almost four, so we're just gonna try to get this stuff broken up and into the dump trailer. There we go. Give that one a shot. Coming in hot, don't fall. Pieces down. So us removing this existing concrete walkway and replacing it with pavers is actually an add-on to this backyard patio project that we did for these customers. We built some concrete block steps, we stone veneered the foundation wall and built this patio. And where we stopped the pavers and met with the existing concrete walkway is what was in the original contract. But after the customers had seen the pavers down and lived with it for a little while, they decided they wanted to pull the trigger on extending the pavers all the way to the driveway. So that's why we're back here ripping out the concrete and getting the base prepared to lay some more pavers. So if you've been following along with my channel, you may be wondering where the last video is of the project that we were on, where we installed the granite steps, the paver landings, the concrete block wall, and the stone veneer stoop. I have one more video to make from that project, but I'm planning on revisiting that job site because they've had a new driveway installed and I got some grass established at the end of last year. So I'm going to be revisiting that within the next couple weeks, at which point I'll be able to make the final video on that project. So in the meantime, I'll be uploading some videos from other projects. I was pretty excited when the customers reached out and wanted to pull the trigger on extending this walkway because I think it's going to finish this project off real nicely. And when we did finish the end result, the customers were very excited that they decided to do it. That's so the middle. You just literally hit the freaking gate. Freaking... Soft in the middle. Feel that one? Oh, yeah. Ah. I'd have to use the saw, Benny. Yeah. Oh yeah, you see the stones in it, dude. <laughs> you have to just saw cut it in a few sections. Because once you saw cut it, it's like a relief joint. Yeah, kind of breaks break off. Why would just the bar at that point? <laughs> Action. Yeah. Watch your thumbs. <laughs> what do you think, bun? <laughs> I just called you bun, dude. Bun. Bud and Ben together, dude. Woke up all the ants. Yep, they definitely woke up. What do you think about the top one? You think the top one? You know, thinner? What? I was just looking at that, but you know what? I wonder all this. Yeah, that's separate. It might be a little bit easier to break. Too. Oh yeah. Well, let's keep giving the wax, bud. Okay. Wow. I was really hoping it was. Benny, look how thick that is, dude. 
Nice. Yep. It's cracking. Okay, why don't you go up on top? I'm gonna see if I can break down here a little bit more. All right, we're gonna make some saw cuts to act as like little relief joints so that we can break them, wedge them apart with the bar. But I wanted to show you what Benny did so we can have water when we cut. Let me see how many holes are in it, dude. Wow. Go ahead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. My That's gonna be all set, dude. We're gonna be able to cut with no dust because of you. Don't waste it. Look. No, it we stops, dude. Any water, dude. Please, how do you do it, Colin Spring? Come on. Hey, take a sip. <laughs> You're done, dude. You're done. This is the culprit right there, dude. The boulder. The boulder. Yeah, that's right, hit it. Sweet. Getting through it, bud. We're getting through it slowly but surely. The walkway came up really easy, but these steps were poured pretty thick and on top of some big New England field stones. So it's just giving us some trouble coming out, but doing some saw cuts in it and then um, hitting it with the hammer definitely made it a little bit easier as you'll see here but um, as I said at the beginning of this video this was the end of the day we were on another project and we came here just to get the concrete up and load it into the trailer so that we could dump it in the morning and in the morning we're gonna be picking up my nephew Travis if you're an original viewer of the channel you've seen him in some of my old plowing videos but um, this is the summer of 2022, and he was able to work with us on quite a few jobs. So this will be the first one you see him with us on, but there'll be some more of him in the next uh, next series of videos coming. Because these videos, like I said, are from last summer. I just didn't get around to uploading them or getting to put them together. It was tough keeping up with the, the videos while doing all the, the work itself this past summer. So I'm just getting around to them this winter. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> he looks, he's like, you guys can't really understand from your perspective, but from Benny's perspective, there'll just be a silence for a minute. And then when I hit the record button on the GoPro, it goes beep. <laughs> every time every time that noise goes off dude and I look at you I see your eyes like just look like mm -hmm. oh he's at I on <laughs> action <laughs> action face uh, we got that concrete loaded up from yesterday and we got Benny and we got some of you may remember <laughs> Trav 
The GoPro is out. How you living, bud? Fine. Get that, uh, what do they call it again? Splint. Splint. Yep. Nice. That's from all the shoveling, right? No. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna file a workman's comp claim on me, Benny. <laughs> <laughs> My arm's growing the wrong way because of all the shoveling you made me do. Here we are. It's gonna be a beautiful day. 75 degrees this hand. Can you hold this thing? <laughs> He's like, I guess so. Nice hoodie, Trav. I'm telling you, I'm gonna see if I can get some flags on the next order of t-shirts, man. You've inspired me. <laughs> He'll get used to the camera. We're here, Trav. What do you think? Just it certainly was. The steps, the walkway came out real easy, but the steps were really thick. And at the bottom of them was a bunch of big boulders. They poured the thick concrete on top of big boulders. That's why there's a big hole there. Dig and backfill today. Extremely slow. It's very slow. Better than unloading by a shovel though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the supervisor pose right there. Oh, now he's a local. I love your pose, dude. Three quarter inch, clean crushed stone, open grade base. I said in my videos before, um, I'm in Massachusetts, so mainly around here we get a mix of granite and bluestone is the material that they crush up. So it's nice and strong. Uh, I do get comments of if I live in an area where there's only limestone or, or other kind of stones that are a little bit softer, can I use it? And I'd say that you definitely can if it's for foot traffic only areas. If you start getting into a driveway application, you don't want to use like a lime, crushed limestone because it's just, it's not strong enough. So you want to make sure you get some kind of granite or something comparable in strength for a driveway. But for any kind of patio or walkway, it's just foot traffic. Limestone is just fine. So as many of you know, I do not own a piece of equipment yet. If you see some videos of me using a piece of machinery, it was a rental. Um, so we're digging this, this walkway out by hand. It's not a very big application. We got three guys. So doing it all the old-fashioned way. I got a nice ramp set up for the trailer so that we can load the wheelbarrows and uh, just take them right up to the front and dump them. And then the, the backfill stone will just be wheelbarrowing as well. 
that painted line that I have on the grass accounts for six inches further than where our walkway will actually be so that we can have extra base material past the edge of our pavers that helps prevent sinking in the future because the first point of failure on almost any paver application is the edges and we want to prevent that as much as possible. We're moving Trav, we're moving. Yeah, I can see a lot of progress is already done. Yep. So if you're wondering what Ben's doing. <laughs> we line this walkway up with the, the concrete walkway which is really close to this bed. So what we're doing since we're adding on to it is we're actually going to shift the walkway over one paver's width to give this bed a little bit more room than it had before and uh, we couldn't do that before because we were trying to match it up with the existing concrete but now that it's gone we can do that so that's what ben's doing he's just removing a little bit of concrete we did over there we're going to pull up this border and we're going to shift everything over not shift everything over but we're going to add a add a row onto the the left side here Want some gloves, Trav? No. You sure? <laughs> he threw a um, shot put of a fescue clump. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, kid. It's nice not working with you. <laughs> there over there. Yeah, go do your thing over there. I gotta say, it was super cool having my nephew with me on this job and through many jobs this past summer. He's 15, so. It's pretty abnormal that he's interested in being out here working. Not many kids his age in this generation are interested in it, so I'm pumped up about it. So if you're a new viewer, you haven't seen any of the videos before, this is the patio, stone veneer, and concrete block steps that we did for this customer. They got it decorated very nicely. Nice hangout area. And he's moving along. Turf is pretty much all gone. Trav's raking up a few little piles. We'll get that out of here. And then 
if this subsoil is anything like it was in the patio, there's a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. Huh, Benny? Oh, yeah. A lot of rocks. Any words of wisdom, Trav? It's sweaty. I got one for you. When you're grabbing dirt with your hands, don't wipe your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you look like a football player. You got the uh, two streaks of dirt under your eye. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Can't wait to see you with a mullet when you're 18. Oh, I'm going. I was gonna define it tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. She's letting you send it. Yep. Nice. I can't wait. By the end of the summer, it's gonna be gold. I don't know how Dad approves of it, but. <laughs> Somehow the mother always wins versus the dad. Well, it's when it comes to the children's decision, it's the mother's choice. Yeah, I think you're right. You're going to see Travis with a mullet before the end of the summer. Well, by the time they see the video, it's probably going to be winter. <laughs> so Benny's got the border up. We're going one more row of regular pavers and then the border. So he's going to go through this, get it all ready and prepared for us to backfill and get it leveled off to continue the pavers out. Definitely a lot of rocks, huh, Trav? I can't take a swing without hitting a rock. I know. Every time, you either put your shovel or the pick into it, there's rocks. Ooh, dirt. <laughs> There was a ton of field stones in this soil. A lot of hard digging. But uh, just, to, just to go off what I was saying earlier, my nephew Travis, he's got a lot of ambition in him. He's a very smart kid, and he's full of motivation. He does awesome in school, but he's also excited to get out here and work. He's not, um, he's not very laid back in life. He wants to learn new things, try new things. And um, as long as I can remember since I started doing this work for myself, he's been wanting to get out and work with me. So this past summer was an excellent experience for him and for me. It was just kind of just kind of cool having him there by our side. And he learned a lot from the, the business perspective. And uh, I think he learned a lot about what hard work is all about. And that's something that this generation is missing. But... Like I said, he's just he's very motivated and interested in this stuff, so pretty excited for it. You're, you're going to see him in a bunch of more videos to come and hopefully this next season to come. You see the light at the end of the tunnel, Trav? <laughs> yep. Second day on the job. We're digging out field stones the size, size of granite boulders. Yeah. I mean, not me. <laughs> Nice. We got a few more wheelbarrows and we are done with our excavation. Benny's following us with the easy job. He said, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, real easy. No part of this job's easy. No, no this one hasn't been easy. So every job site's gonna vary a little bit, but you're always gonna wanna get through the top layer of soil on any kind of paver installation. And you can see where the color changes in this soil and it gets down to a, a sandy gravel type of subsoil. You need to get past that top soil or else the water will not permeate down into the soils uh, well enough. So here I'm at about 10 inches below the top of the grade. Now that, um, that layer of topsoil varies on almost every single job you're going to go to. It could be three inches, it could be four inches, it could be a foot. It could be a foot of topsoil and then you got a foot of clay. And it's, uh, you know, those are situations where you're put in a spot where you have to excavate deeper. You need to correct the soil and you need to excavate deeper. Uh, if I hit a lot of topsoil and clay and I can't find a nice gravel subsoil, I will dig a minimum of 15 inches deep so that we can have a good foot of crushed aggregate, um, clean drainage stone for the water to permeate down and into the subsoil slowly. On this job site, there was nice gravel underneath our topsoil. So we're at about 10 inches deep. And then if you watch the channel, you know how we do this, but we spread a thin layer of that three quarter inch stone on top of our subsoil, compact that down into our subsoil, and then lay our fabric out and backfill on top of that. 
The backfill material only needs to be compacted in one lift because we'll only be putting about six inches and three quarter inch clean crushed stone does not need to compact it in less than six inch lifts. I'm telling you Trav, that mullet's gonna be incredible. You said mom's gonna clean it up tonight? I believe so, yes. Wow. So we're gonna see, so next week we might see the start of the mullet. Wow. I'm ready for that. Hit the like button if you're ready to see Travis with a mullet. <laughs> Benny, you ready to see Travis with a mullet? I love it. It is. It is not 100% backfilled, but I'd say 80% backfilled. But that's it. That's it. You guys saw all the steps we take to excavate and backfill, and it's not complicated. Just hard work. The next video coming will be laying the walkway, building our steps out of concrete block and uh, concrete caps. So we'll be building two landings and laying the walkway. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe to see that video. Say goodbye, Benny. Goodbye. Bye, Trap. Peace. Bye.